are more than 3,000 people in Michigan waiting for organ transplants. Across the country, an average of 18 people a day die waiting for those organs. ITV 20's Jorge Avian tells us about an artist who's using his art to motivate people to become donors. I have a, a, a goal that is very clear, and I want to save lives with art. Artist Elton Monroy Dudan hopes his art gets people talking about organ donation. His entire American Corpus exhibit, which is currently on display at the 555 Art Gallery in Southwest Detroit, was created to highlight the need for organ donors. The topic is to, to uh, related to the organ donation, to encourage the people to, to be more um, shared and to, to, to be more lovely persons. No? Uh, I, I mean, uh, it is a need. Uh, from many people uh, who are waiting for um, 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 an organ. Elton is from Mexico and is visiting Detroit specifically to promote this type of art that includes mannequins as well as prints. He chose Detroit after learning about the 555 gallery online. I have heard about Detroit and about the art scene uh, right in the moment and that was uh, something that attracted me to, to, the, to the place. So I saw uh, per internet this place, for example, since I was in Mexico. Elton is in contact with local organ donation foundations to see how they can work together to educate more people about becoming donors. Art have a, a very particular um, uh, power and art can touch the people very deeply. So we, we need to, to, to touch the people like that so that, that they can uh, feel more than only think. Elton tells me he plans to donate the money he makes from the larger paintings to people here in Michigan who need help to pay for organ transplants. For your news at Straight to the Point, I'm Jorge Avian, TV 20 News at 10. Elton says he started painting human organs with the purpose of getting people interested in becoming donors as part of a spiritual calling. A meet and greet with the artist has been scheduled this Saturday from 5 to 9 p.m. at the 555 Gallery.